Hello friends, I'm Oom and today we're diving the fantastic world of Pop OS, aka the System76 Cosmic Desktop Environment because it has been some time since I ever tried Cosmic Desktop Environment and I was wondering like what's their development so far in their upcoming Cosmic Desktop Environment because I believe that Cosmic is just as awesome as GNOME but it has all the functionalities of a tiling window manager like Hyperland and so I installed Pop Pop OS with Cosmic right away and let's dive deep shall we and here we are on the virtual environment of Pop OS and my first impression is pretty good I'd say because first thing first I really like the desktop of Cosmic no doubt but then there are some better options as well now I'd like to try some different wallpapers and I believe this one actually looks good especially for the thumbnail now leaving that I believe this is Cosmic Alpha 6 and this version allows us to do a lot more than what we could do a few months ago. For example, the whole settings application has been revamped with this panel. And now I will say one thing though, like the ascent colors here are working pretty great. The moment I applied this wallpaper, all the ascent colors changed into that and it looks damn good, literally damn good. And now there's thus another update which is actually related to this place. So now you have option to custom scaling as well. And then you can always change your scaling from here. And you have so many damn options for resolutions like windows and normal X distributions do not offer me that. Along with that, they have option for X11 in all or X11 in the native resolution for the supported application. You see, there are these small features and tools which allows us to go all in because Linux is all about getting the con complete control of your system and that is what Cosmic offers us. As you can see we have every detail about frame our firmware but right now I am on a VM so it will not show but it will show the device details as you can see it's a VM and it is using Valent by default. Now you might see that my cursor is lagging a little bit and that is because I am on a VM. And then we have some new applications which are properly created for Cosmic Desktop Environment. For example, they're all in new terminal. Now, as we remember, it uses Ubuntu as its base. So we can just type sudo apt install. Let's say what I want to install, htop. And it goes into installing. So yep, the terminal works pretty fine. And along with the package management, which is always like awesome. Because PopOS has always focused their efforts into stability and performance so yeah it is pretty good and now i remember a particular application which was yep there it is cosmic screenshot so if i yep it has been installed edge top now let me just type it here edge top enter and there it is it is using just 1.89 gb of ram good and it's load on my cpu which is literally just for the record a virtual machine is pretty okay Considering I literally made the whole VM as a, what do you call it, a low-end PC. Now I'd like to search for appearance. And there it is. We have the light mode as well. And it is switching. It has been switched. Now let's take a look. Okay, it looks damn good. Definitely damn good. Now let me just check these. Well, the light mode has not been applied to a few places. For example, the system application settings and then the application start menu. Now leaving that, let me just go back to dark mode and then we have amazing ascent colors as well. Right now it is this one. If I want to change it into a pink one, then it will turn it to pink one. Good. All right. So we have multiple styles for applications and system as well. This round one, then slightly round and then squarish. So let's go on with squarish and there it is. Everything has turned into that and then slightly round. Slightly round is basically GNOME. Square is KDE and round is a uh, Cosmic. Now interface density. So if I go to compact, it's gonna make things compact. Okay. What about spacious? Spacious looks good, but compact actually feels good. Then we have the comfortable, the in between. Compact gives you more space to work on while spacious makes things look a little better. And then activate windows hint size. Hint is nothing but the windows border you can see and then gaps around tiling window manager. Then we have experiment settings of system font, monosquare font, icons and toolkit theme. There we go. So apply this to GNOME apps as well. Okay. So we have ability to customize the cosmic desktop. That's it. 
right so let's say if i go to ubuntu then it will change everything to ubuntu yep it has all the applications and icons are now changed to ubuntu well this is actually a great update that allows us to change appearances icons and stuff and we can change application or background window background as well so let's say i go there and i'd like something else for example a hey 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 it is actually changing things in real time now it looks a little better just uh, into a little dark section there we go this is the color i wanted okay close then we have interface text tint mm, i believe i should just this close control component for the standard buttons let me just go to there a little now as you can see everything has turned into the color i selected literally everything and it is looking damn good so yes i will say cosmic desktop has been doing a great work till now amazing work giving us so many options to customize every part of the desktop that is something to consider now we have ability to actually customize every bloody stuff here so we can actually automatically hide our panel just like that so let me just take a look i want it to stay there by default all right gap between panel and system edges this is the thing i wanted for a long time size so what if i increase the size all right now it is looking damn good the background opacity what if i just make it a little transparent there we go extend panel to system edges what if i don't wait where did where did it go oh there all right then i am going to make a customization right now let me just increase the size literally way too much um a little more all right it is a little way too much like this yep this looks okay ish now i want to configure and i want to remove this application library button and maybe the workspace button as well maybe yes i want now i can add applets for example the launcher button is something there we go let's go back to panel what if i extend it now all right there it is and what if i don't hmm what if i decrease the size a little way too much what's going to happen then now it looks damn good this is the one i'm going to keep now let's customize the dog so we can make sure it automatically hides the dog then position gap between dog and screen edges that is something i really want then extend the dog to screen edges definitely not what if i do that it's going to look like that but i'm not going to go for that now i'd like to increase the size to way too much like this decrease the background opacity a little to make it look a little good there we go then we have dog window management workspaces let's try workspaces display has separate workspaces and we have both options vertical and horizontal if i go to horizontal then how would it look like okay this and what if i go to vertical workspaces then this okay 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 so i have a hell lot of options to customize every bloody thing of the desktop just awesome just awesome but i would like to change the top bar yep i really want to because yes i do like that but it will not go in th in the thumbnail so let me just extend it just like that and now it looks damn good 